Howdy folks, how are you going? Beta 95X version 3. I just want to show a couple of my viewers my setup for my build. Uh, some people are having some trouble with VTXs and things like that. So I'm just going to buzz through the settings on beta flight. So if you're not interested in the 95X setup, then perhaps go check out one of my other videos. But here we go, running through fairly quickly here. So fairly important, UART 6, which controls my TBS Smart Audio for VTX. I have the UART 3 for my TBS and the standard USB VCP, which is the top one. So yours should be fairly much the same as that. Configuration, 8K, 8K, D-Shot 600, all fairly standard stuff here, shouldn't affect you too much. Telemetry, LED, air, OSD and dynamic all are on. Of course I've got crossfire on mine, which is why my serial base is selected. If you have your normal XM Plus, then that will be S Plus. RX loss and your normal tick and flick down here. Power and battery. Fail safe standard. Pitch tune standard. Receiver, all pretty standard stuff. I think um, everything's going well there in your setups. I've just got an arm and angle mode on mine. That's all I really need. On screen display here. You can pretty much select what you want for your on-screen display. Now your video transmitter. So I have powered the unit up. The VTX on the 95X is lit up. So I've got a race band 8, 250 milliwatts of power, no to pit mode, and no to low power disarm. So device ready, yes. This won't work unless you have the correct port selected. So if this isn't looking something like this bottom line here, then this screen will either be completely blank or you will have a no to device ready. So if that says no, it means you have no VTX, obviously. So with the version I am using, uh, you can see it there on the screen. So that is my firmware version. So it's dated January 5, 2021. So STM32F405. So what I'll do also for you is I shall do a dump of my CLI and I'll stick it in my Google Docs, which will be reflected in my link below. And it's pretty much as simple as that. So if your settings are fairly similar to mine and you're still having no bingo with your VTX, then I suggest you could have a fault with your VTX. If you're able to power your VTX on another flight controller, that could be a good way to problem solve. Otherwise, let me know how you go and we will endeavor to get it sorted. Otherwise, hope I've helped you out and let me know how you go. No worries, happy flying, see you in the sky, sky pilot. Bye for now.